Hi, you guys. This is Maria, and I'm at Anton Elementary School in San Bernardino, California. We're here to do a school visit, you guys. We're going to be in the auditorium in a little bit, and my friends and I are going to be talking about writing books. And so, but look at that, you guys. They have so many cute things here. You know me, you guys. <laughs> when I saw this alligator, look at this. This is... Alley alligator. Say hello, Alley alligator. <laughs> so cute, you guys. This cool book. With these that is really in cool. It. And speaking of books, Carol, you have a book that's coming out. Well, and would you like to see it? Yeah, let's take a look at Carol's book, you guys. It is so good. I am really lucky that I've known Carol for a lot of years, and she's an excellent writer. She loves mysteries. She grew up reading Nancy, Nancy Drew. Drew. Yeah. Yes. So this is your new book, or this, this is the is first? This is Lost Treasure of the Golden Sun, which was the first book in the Phantom Hunter series. And this is the cover for the second book, The oh Secret of Blackhurst Manor, which will be coming out next month. And I had hoped to have a copy today, but it's not quite off the press yet. But it'll be available soon, right? Soon, in about a month. Okay, you guys, so be sure to stay tuned because... Oh, two weeks. No, two weeks? March 15th. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this book is going to be available on March, March 15th. 15th. The yes. Phantom Hunters, The Secret of Black Purse Manor. You guys, yes. this is a really good book. I've already read it. I've been lucky enough to read it. It's super good. Lots of twists and turns and mysteries. And it okay, takes Carol, place in England. Read. Where does it take place? In England. Okay. in a scary manor house and this one takes place on the Navajo Nation in okay. Arizona so the kids are getting lots of travel in an yeah and Carol times. did a lot of her research because she's traveled to these places right, right Carol? absolutely you have to to be able to write about them right there's ghosts in this book too you guys both ghosts both oh okay ghosts. that's right yes. it's been a ghosts long time this one, since I read that this one, one. Okay. Annie can see ghosts Annie the main character is able to see ghosts yes and so Annie also has a twin, right? Yes, Scout, who is does she... not see ghosts. Oh, I'll be sure to share Carol's new book, The Secret of Blackhurst Manor, as soon as it's out. Okay, thanks, Carol. You're welcome. So here's my author friend, Villa Vaughn Bender. Vaughn, can you share your book with us? Hi, everybody. Oh, let's see. There's my book. It's called Mommy Eats Fried Grasshopper. I'm going to be reading this to the kids today. So happy to be here for Read Across America. And so what's the book about? It's about my daughter and me, um, about my life in Laos versus my daughter in America. So kind of compare and contrast um, about uh, the stuff that, that I did in my childhood, kind of talk about the culture um, in Laos versus in America. Okay, it's really good also. I love the illustrations. Can we see some of the illustrations? Oh yeah, of course. Now who is the illustrator? Uh, the illustrator is Noor Salawangse. Okay. Really wonderful illustrator. Look at it, it says here, oh Sabaydi, so hello in Lao. My name is Molly, which means jasmine flower. My mom is from Laos where they do things a bit differently how we do things in America. So it just kind of talks about compare and contrast, like Molly eats cereal and I eat sticky rice for um, breakfast and, and other, other things. Like talks about you know, how we're different in doing in school. And here it talks about how Molly eats potato chips for snack. And here's me and my mom um, eating fried grasshopper as snacks. And so let me kind of flip through. Here's the mommy, which is me and Molly, trying to share this um, snack, you know, with her daughter. But her American nice daughter, of course, her snack is <laughs> is um, um, chips. So she's saying, "Oh no, let's go swimming." And here I love this because, you know. We all swim everywhere, right? But it's just different location. I would swim in the pond right. in Laos, and Molly would swim in a more like pool, a swimming, nice pool. swimming pool. Yeah. So these are all the toys that I did. With, um, I mean, these are the toys that Molly would play here and in Laos. Um, so I would make my own rag dolls or ninja, you want to call it, shoe with flip flop out of banana tree trunk. So here's my treasure chest suitcase that I purchased at the Disney store several years ago. And so I've taken it to many school visits, you guys. It's just so easy to take around with me. And so I have my books to share today. Here is Strange, Weird, and Creepy Tales by Maria Cisneros Top, which is me. And here is Butterfly Hollow. And so this is historical fiction. And so this is more like for middle grade readers. 
And then here are some books that I worked on with some other writers, some other authors. And this is the Monster Moon Mystery Series. Here is Curse of Zala Manor. This is our first book. And our second book that we wrote together is Secret of Haunted Bob. I also brought this to share you guys. And so I'll go ahead and link a video about this. Okay, we're headed over to the assembly. I'll see you in a bit. And so anyways, I'm a children's author. I'm also a YouTuber. And so like this Madonna said, we were here at your school last fall and I really had a good time. So I'm thinking that if you were in the classroom where I visited, raise your hand if you were in the classroom. Hi, good to see you again. Good to see you again. This book, I got an idea because I'm a cultural anthropologist too. And I wanted to write a book that was on the novel reservation. So I went there and then I came up with a story idea. Uh, this new book, which is the second book in the series, uh, it was actually based on a dream I had. And I sold the dream as a short story and then the magazine went out of business so I got the rights back and I decided to write a book out of it. So the book I like much better. It was a lot of fun to write, and it takes place in a town that I visited in England. And we greet, we put our hands together, put your hands together like this, and you bow, and you say, somebody. Somebody. I enjoy movie night in front of the big screen at home. Mommy's grandparents told her stories under the story skies. Let's munch on some fried grasshoppers with our movie, Mommy said. Ew, really? Ooh. What do you think she's going to do here? I thought about it for a little bit. I, I can see it staring back at me. Then I thought about mommy and me. We always share and do things together. So I slowly said, sure, crunch. Ooh, what do you think? What, what do you think is going in her head? Okay, keep quietly, quietly think in your mind. What do you think she's saying? Or what would you say if you ate fried grasshopper? In your mind, quietly, okay? Why did then we can share later, right? Okay. I know it's bedtime by looking at the clock. When mommy was little, she knew it was bedtime when the sky grew dark. I enjoy listening to mommy's story before I fall asleep. Good night, Molly, mommy whispered. Night night, mommy, and guess what? Okay, in your mind, what do you think Molly's gonna say? You're right. Fried grasshopper do taste like potato chips. Joke means the end in Laos. We have a volunteer. We had to encourage him. Do it. wall. I really like this message. It says, some kids are smarter than you. Some kids have cooler clothes than you. Some kids are better at sports than you. It doesn't matter. You have your thing too. Be the kid who can get along. Be the kid who is generous. Be the kid who is happy for others. Be the kid who does the right thing. Be the nice kid. Kid. I love this, you guys, and I think this also applies to us grown-ups, too. Here we are outside the restaurant. Just had a great lunch. <laughs> so yummy. Hey, guys. It's me, Maria. Yay. I'm glad they jumped right in. This is Carol, and this is Vaughn, my hi, writer hi, friends. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and so we had a really good time at the school assembly, right? Yeah, yes. nice sunny day here in Southern California, finally, after mm -hmm. all our rain. Absolutely. It's beautiful. The mountains are right over here, you guys. We just had lunch at Cuca's Mexican restaurant. It's so yummy. So 
I guess the day is over, you guys. Yes. Gotta Great go day. Home. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk Bye. to you later. Bye. Bye.